Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening po sa lahat ng nakikinig po. Hello to all our viewers from here and around the world. Ang napakaganda na ating talent tayman ngayong hapon ito. Isang mainit na pagbati po sa inyong lahat. Well, friends, welcome to The Bridges Show. I'm very happy to be here. And I think it should be a really interesting and fun topic. But there are things you want to learn. So I, I wanna take it from there and then I listen to them. Meron sila mga mitiin upang maging uh, makabuluhan pa ang pagiging katoliko. Lalong-lalo na sa susunod na henerasyon. Sa akin po, sa mga kabataan, ano, uh, use competence no, as a basis. In real life, hindi naman talaga tayo tumitigil sa buhay. Kailangan talaga, tuloy lang ang buhay kahit anong challenges natin. Palawan, Cebu, Baguio City, Attorney Dwight, pati La Union. So we are saying that revenge travel is real. Mas kailangan natin na i-share ang hiwaga ng sino sa mga tao. Food and health should go hand in hand. So yan ang gusto namin para tingin sa gobyerno. So if you will just devote your life to change, hindi ka yayaman sa pera, pero yayaman ka sa tao. Siyempre ang pinakamaganda po naman sa ating universidad, ay yung talagang um, natuturuan po tayo kung paano uh, maging mabuting tao. Happy Anniversary to Bridges! Here at Bridges, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. The topic for this Bridges episode is a 21st century career for music professional. The 20th century brought to us establishment of several musical institutions, including the USC Conservatory of Music in 1945. Since then, we have produced outstanding musicians, both here in the Philippines and the world, international pianists, opera singers, musical theater artists, composers, violinists, and instrumentalists. Now, since the beginning of the 21st century, starting the Y2K era up to the post-COVID pandemic world, there are numerous challenges and adjustments for our music students and graduates. As the post-pandemic world is very different from how it was before, we would like to discuss the careers for musicians and how music technology, technology comes as a bridge for career prospects. Good afternoon, everyone. Mabuhay. We are happy to welcome you back to Bridges, a University of Santo Tomas Alumni Association or USTAAI virtual talk show that showcases and provides notable Sumatian alumni an opportunity to share their expertise and experiences on various topics for lifelong learning. This show is the initiative of the USC AAI team academics under its informal lifelong learning program. I am Taya Perez, a faculty member and an alumna of the USC Conservatory of Music in one of your hosts for today's episode of Bridges. This Bridges episode is brought to you by the USC Alumni Association Incorporated and USC Communications Bureau. This episode 107 of season three is sponsored by the USC Conservatory Music Alumni Association Incorporated and our individual alumni sponsor engineer Armand Cacaccio from California. My co-host for today is Cipriano de Guzman Jr. He is an opera singer at the Opera de la Principauté d'Andorre and a member of Cour de Chambre de Luxembourg based in the Grand Duchess of Luxembourg. He holds a master in music and vocal performance with a distinction at the Elizabeth University of Music in Hiroshima, Japan, and a master in Interpretación de Opera at the Conservatory Superior de Musica de Lisieux in Barcelona. 
He finished his Bachelor in Music Education, cum laude, in 2012, and Bachelor of Music in Boca Performance, minor in Choral Conducting, cum laude, in 2015, under Maestra Irma Ponte Enrile Potenciano, and the late Assistant Professor June Francis Haranilla. He also teaches online voice, theater, and Japanese language, and at, or rather, at Liceo de Cagayan University Conservator of Music, Theater, and Dance. Good afternoon, Zip. I'm very glad to be with you at this episode of Bridges. Pakibati naman ang ating mga viewers. Magandang magandang hapon po sa ating mga viewers sa, Pilip sa Pilipinas. At good morning naman po sa ating mga viewers here in Europe at sa Amerika at sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Dapat po ako mag-introduce sa inyo, Ma'am Thea. But anyway, our host, Thea Perez Soprano, finished her master's in music in vocal performance at Elizabeth University of Music in Hiroshima, Japan, under the tutelage of Marcella Riale and Uwe Heilman, and Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance at the University of Santo Tomas under the mentorship of Maestra Irma Ponce Enrile Potenciano. Thea has been active performing here and abroad as soloist of the USC Symphony Orchestra and Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra. At present, she's a faculty member of the USC Conservatory of Music. Kamusta po, Ma'am Thea? Pabuti naman, Zip. Alam nyo sa ating mga viewers, alam ko na ating viewers, si Zip po ay matagal ko na kakilala yan. Bago pa yan mag-music, uh, eh, kumuha, kumuha na yan ng ibang kurso. So, uh, kailan tayo uh, nakakilala? Uh, decades ago or 20 years ago pa, no? 20 years ago na po siguro. <laughs> When I was a student at, at the conservatory. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, we, uh, the first time we performed was when we in, we were invited to perform at, uh, I mean, uh, with the in, USC uh, alumni, alumni Organization of, of WAP, in 2012. in 2012, yes. Yes, and then we they invited us again last 20, uh, in 2014, 14, so yes, and, 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 yun, direct direction na po yung aming uh, pagsasama sa... Sa Itablado, di ba, Zip? And it was... We did concerts, uh, opera. And, yes, <laughs> of opera sa CCP. Yes, I totally <laughs> forgot about it. So, yeah. yun, ang dami namin pinagsamahan ni Zip. So, um, magaling at napakabait din yan ni Zip. Uh, hindi lang magaling na performer, but napakabait na kaibigan. So, yun. <laughs> Ano diba? din po, napakaganda ng boses niyo at napakagaling, napakagaling, napakabait na tao. Si uh, Maestra, shout out po uh, sa aming Maestra. Maestra Irma Ponce uh, Enrile Potenciano. Maestra Irma Ponce Enrile Potenciano po. Kumusta na po ma'am? Sana nakakapanood din siya, no? <laughs> Opo. Okay, anyway. so uh, we go on. Zip, I have a question for you. When you studied... Uh, at USC Conservatory of Music, naisip mo ba kung anong magiging future mo or, or magiging uh, trabaho mo pagkatapos mong uh, graduate? Honestly, ma'am, wala po akong idea kung ano, kung ano gagawin ko after graduation. But anyway, I finished another course, um, AB Communication Arts. So, yun po yung aking uh, what you call, insurance, just in case. But During the time that I was a student, kayo po yung isa sa mga tinitingala ko. Kasi you do hosting, you perform, you do concerts, you teach, you do a lot of things. Opo, lahat na, all around. So, kapag studyante ka, mapifeel mo, dapat after graduation, ganun din ako. So, yun po, kaya ako na-inspire. Kasi yung mga faculty members natin sa USC magagaling. And also, kaya po ako nag-aral ng music para matulungan ko po yung church choir ko sa simbahan, sa, sa Pasig. And uh, maka, makapagturo din gaya nyo sa mga liblib na lugar sa Pilipinas o sa mga far from Manila. Yun po. That's good. At least now, you are now in the teaching profession and as a performer also. And to our uh, dear viewers, our topic 
for today is very interesting. The 21st Century Careers for Music Professionals. I can't wait to listen and to hear our guest for today, Z. Are you excited also? Of course, I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, but before we move on with our show, friends, please do not forget to like and share our show and uh, subscribe to our USC Somatian Alumni Community YouTube channel. Pakilike lang po, don't forget. As we have mentioned, we have a very interesting topic to discuss today. So without further ado, please allow me to introduce our very special guest today, Jean Antonio Paterno Africa, a well-rounded musician, professor, composer, conductor, and the Dean of the USC Conservatory of Music. Hello, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, Ma'am Thea, magandang hapon po. Uh, Sir Zip, magandang hapon. Magandang It's hapon nice po. to be here. And uh, thank you to our Alumni Association for this invitation. Yes. Uh, may, may I just uh, continue doon sa ating bio for our uh, special guest for today? Antonio P. Africa finished His Bachelor of Music and Composition and Master of Arts in Music. Major in Composition at the USC Conservatory of Music and Graduate School, respectively. He took a second Master's, Master's of Arts in Music, Ethnomusicology, major at the Philippine Women's University. Continuing, his, he finished his Doctor of Philosophy in Music in December 2015 in the same university. As a composer, he has been commissioned by several institutions and government agencies to write him. Major works like Escalante, a wind ensemble piece with eight bunkakas, Siniglaya Mundo for 10 pianos and a Philippine indigenous ensemble. Mas Libranos del Mal works for a chamber orchestra in a digital audio workstation using sampled sound. And St. Louis Loves the Filipinos, the musical, staged by Dula Ang UP, are his more notable work. He has done several art songs, among them, Sisulu, Mandela, and Tagumpay ng Lahat, the texts of which were written by Filipino poetess Ophelia Di Malanta. Musicals composed were Ulo ng Apo, uh, Presence of American Bases in Subic, and Benito One and Two, Musical in the Life of Saint Benedict. Again, we would like to welcome uh, to the show, Dean Tonton Africa. Uh, to our viewers, we work together at the conservatory and we, uh, we are fond of calling him Sir Tonton, Okay, my my first question is how was it during your time as a student sa conservatory in the of music in the uh, 1980s? Nako, it was very very it is very very much different from what we have today. And uh, if I remember right, we were just 200 around that time. Uh, we're still, we did occupy the fifth floor of Albertus Manius. And uh, we were, the, the environment was stricter then. I, I, I mean, like, ngayon kasi medyo ano na tayo talaga. We're very open to all types of music. Dati talaga, strictly classical. Classical. Uh, na experience ko pa dati no na wala lang magtotoro pa nagkakantahan sa loob ng classroom maririnig ng din pop yung kinakanta namin ako lagot kami nila okay you may now leave the room okay labas kami ng room ganyan ganyan but of course that's part of the training din di ba and of the discipline that uh, we are actually imparting to our students right now 
uh, ibang iba pa UST noon but of course UST is UST kay mapaluma kay mapabago I guess uh, we're all the same we're all the same considering that we're all graduates of this uh, very very respected institution masaya remember time namin wala pang internet noon ha uh, oh, <laughs> Wala kaming basis, wala kaming YouTube, wala kaming papanooran ng Dan Houser, wala kaming wala kaming additional uh, information through the computers. Pupunta kami sa library. Ganun pa before. And of course, talagang ano, talagang mag-aral ka kung kailangan ka mag-aral. Things are much much different now with all the resources all around us at the click of a button makukuha na natin. But of course, I mean We're part of the evolution. So, kung ganito na ngayon, then we adjust to that system. And maybe that is also one reason why our students today uh, learn faster. Kasi talaga namang ang dami nilang additional resources for them to learn the things that we're teaching inside. But, pero ako, syempre, hindi naman sa bias ako sa sarili ko. No? But I would say that things were very, very exciting before. Parang there are things before na hindi na ma- ma- iintindihan ng mga bata ngayon. And that's also one reason why nagkakaroon tayo ng generation gap because there are things na ginagawa ng mga bata ngayon na hindi naman natin ginagawa before. So parang once we start uh, comparing ourselves, oops, parang, oy, but malayo? Bakit ganito na sila ngayon? but tayo ganun pa dati? But if you're going to look at it, parang we'll just have to complement each other. Uh, share right. experiences. Yun yung importante doon, share experiences. Not really imposing what we experienced before, but just to enrich the knowledge of the our students na, uy, before ganito, now kayo ganito. So maybe we, that can also be something that our students can reflect on, di ba? Yung difference na yun. Malayo ang difference, but I guess as Tomasinos, ang dami pa rin commonalities natin eh. The bond is there. Alam mo, di ba, pag nagkita-kita tayo sa labas, nagkita, uy, tumasyan ako. Ay, talaga, tumasyan ka. Wala na. Instant bond na yon di ba? Ayun, I guess that's one of the things that endured through the decades. Now, we still have it right now. So, well, to each his own. And the important thing is, happy tayong lahat. Okay. Thank you very much, No, and ko naman like yung sinabi nyo kanina na hindi man natin i-impose sa ating mga sudyante but we can always share our 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 moments as a college student sa conservator of music. Yung alam mo hirap na hirap tayo. Naalala ko nun sir, di ba? Sa, sa main building pa yung library natin. Naghahalong pa tayo ng ano, yung sa, sa library, di ba? Yung nawala pa yung wallet ko noon. <laughs> Kasi nga, siyempre na ay nakalagay lang doon sa may gila, iwan mo, di ka naman. Anyway, so talaga totoo po yung sinabi ni Dina, ibang-iba po yung panahon nung, mm. although kahit uh, sabihin pa natin mas nauna sa atin si, si Dean, but still, nagkaabutan kasi yun. <laughs> Mabala po. Commonalities po. Kasi no? yung mm. time na pasok din kami ni Dean. So naintindihan po na we can relate doon mm. sa mga sabi po ni Dean uh, Africa. So Dean, may, may follow-up question pa po ako. So, ano pa po ang mga memorable moments and what are the difference, differences sa panahon ngayon? Memorable moments as student po ba? Opo, as a student po. As a student po. Ang pinaka-memorable po sa akin, as student ako, hirap na hirap ako sa music. Pero, uh, <laughs> trivia, trivia po ito. Ah. Monting na po ako mag-shift. And yung pinagsabihan ko na mag-shift ako, parang, ah, okay. Sige, mag-shift ka. Ganyan, ganyan. Sige, tutulungan kita. Hindi niya ako tinulungan. And then eventually, I just realized na sa fourth year na pala ako at mag-graduate na pala ako that I endured all these things. Tapos, eh, mga teacher nga na dat- natin dati, ang stricto, di ba? Parang iba pa ang paradigm nun kasi. So, yun yung mga hindi ko makakalimutan na may isang lesson yata ako na pagkatapos ng lesson ko, may iyak ako. <laughs> yung, well, these are things na hindi na alam ng mga bata ngayon. Pero, yun yung mga hindi ko makakalimutan. And, uh, 
Well, number one, hindi ko makalimutan because it also made me who I am today. So, alam niyo yan, yung parang hindi, ay, ganyan pala mga teacher sa UST, no? Nag, uh, ano, na, ma- masyadong magalit. Hindi po ganun, hindi po ganun yun. Uh, yun lang po talaga yung sistema before. Hindi naman sa sistema, but that was the culture before na ngayon naman ay uh, wala na talaga. Now, siguro as faculty member, it's the camaraderie. Yung tulungan din. Uh, it's one thing that we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, put away. Kahit sabihin nyo ng may competition, no? there's an informal competition. Alam nyo naman, it's a, it's a musical world. And uh, di ba, parang there will always be that friendly competition. But even with the existence of that competition, magkaibigan pa rin tayong lahat. Eh. Isang pamilya lang naman tayo. Eh. Opo. If that's one thing that probably I would not have learned in another university, yun na siguro yun. Ibang klase ang samahan dito. As I would always tell my students, sa UST ako naging tao. Oh, ang sarap naman take, pakinggan. <laughs> take it in any possible way you may want to take it, but talagang dito ako nahubog. I mean, I owe a lot yung... Yung demographics kasi dito, talagang, di ba? Ang, ang wide-wide ng demographics dito na you learn to deal with everybody. And uh, that's one thing that's uh, I'm very thankful, no? Na natuto ako, aside from, of course, the musical competency that I was able to acquire, to acquire dito sa atin, yun yung pakikisama mo sa maraming tao na nadala ko paglabas ko, pagka-graduate ko, pagka-trabaho ko, dala-dala ko na siya and it was easier for me really to be a good team player also when I go out, when I did uh, enter the industry already. As a composer, well, compo major talaga ako. So I was working with productions, with ganyan. And I guess yung pagiging Tomasino ko did help me really blend with other people quite easily. Uh, ayun, ako, ganun ka-memorable ang pagiging tumasino ko na, yun na nga, if I may repeat it, dito ako sa USD naging tao. Well said, Dean Africa. Ang ganda na sinabi ni Dean, nag-agree po ako okay. doon sa sabi niya. Kasi yung mga teachers talaga natin, uh, we call it parang old school yun, di ba, Dean? Oh, yes, yes. Please. Very strict talaga, may mga teachers na pinapalo pa yung kamay pag nagpapiano. Mm. <laughs> Kami, kami ni Zit. Naabog. Mm, open your mouth. Your mouth. Huwag ka magpatiyot. Alala ko pa nga yung teacher ko. Alala ko pa nga yung teacher ko. Nagle-lesson pala ako. Umiiyak na ako. Sabi sa akin teacher ko, paglabas mo naman, huwag ka na umiiyak. Okay lang. Parang, parang nahiya rin siya na umiiyak ako dun sa lesson. Okay lang yun. I mean, ito, it happened once lang naman. Hindi naman kami umiiyak araw-araw. Hindi naman. Don't take us... Uh, Seriously ha, hindi ganun yun. Pero may ganun talaga mga episodes na inano naman namin, we cherish up to this moment. Ay, opo. I agree with that. So, Saka, lalo na, uh, um, nag-agree po ako nung sinabi nyo na uh, if not for our teachers before, we are not, we won't be here. Diba, team? O, oh, dahil kanilang ano, kasi nakita nila sa atin yung talento. Kaya hinold nila tayo para maging, hindi lang maging magaling na musicians, but also being uh, good, uh, 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 being human, and mm-hmm. uh, okay, para, maka, ano, para malalim yun. Well-rounded at, musicians. At, at, yes, and also yung maging, yung maging pagiging makatao. Kasi yung okay. nasabi ni din kanina, yung sa, sa ating uh, komunidad, maliit lang kasi yung ating, ang population ng music. Mm-hmm compared to other colleges na napakadami nila more than a thousand. So tayo kakaunti lang tayo. That's why yung yung ano talaga yung tulungan, yung uh, hindi rin maiwasan yung mayroong um, you know, intrigahan but but then mm. at the end of the day, the the day we both have that mm. love for each other and we have that support for yes, each other. And we're all to mention. So, so. natin kasi tinuro sa atin mag- maging mapagmahal sa kapwa. Diba? Napakaganda sa inyo. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Anyway, uh, let us move on to our topic today, Dean Africa. 
may I just ask, uh, ano po yung mga job opportunities that await our students or graduates mm-hmm. of the Conservatory of Music? And uh, what do you think are the new paradigms and adjustments that we musicians must adapt in a post-pandemic world? Thank you for that very wonderful question. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, uh, kanina when for for the no for the ano for the information of our audience, kanina nagdetey at na kami tiniting na namin ko ano yung mga yung mga magiging topics. And number one really is anong pwede kung maging trabaho after kung mag music. That has always been the question since our time. And frankly, even ako nung paggraduate na ako sa combo, sabi ko. Ano nga bang mangyayari sa akin? Eh, well, number one, I ended up teaching and I ended up working in the industry. So I really wanted to work in the industry. Parang nahatak ako ng teaching for whatever reason. Na siguro yun yung destiny ko, hindi ko alam, whatever. If Ma'am Faye, you would remember, if you remember, 2004, 2003, kausap kita. Because I was about to start a music events group na kumukuha na ako nun, hindi, hindi mo na yata natatandaan ng mga musicians, uh, performing artists, composers, ar- arrangers, ganyan-ganyan. I was ready for that already. So, that's another, no? That's another opportunity, music business. Eh, hindi na tuloy pa, kasi parang na-invite ako dito sa UST. I was already with UST then. Um, na-invite ako na maging... Uh, conservatory secretary, which I, I could not resist. So, tinanggap ko yun. And eventually, dito talaga ako, nagkaroon ng linya sa, sa akadim, no? Uh, opportunities, kahit ang hira pong sab- sagutin ng tanong na iyon, ay marami pong oportunidad. And I, I just would like to say na huwag kayong matakot kasi parang uh, we have this tendency to go with the, with the, ano, with the flow, di ba? To go with the Joneses, so, ay kung magaganitong course siya, ay anak ko, ganito rin ang kukunin. Uso ito ngayon, uso yan ngayon. Hindi na nauso ang music eh. Ang daya nga eh, di ba? Ever since tayo yung naiba. But do you realize that because of that, there are very few trained and professional musicians? Di ba? Low supply and demand lang yan. Mababa ang supply, mataas ang demand. So basically, we're talking here of discarte. If you are a competent musician, if you know how to deal with people, there are a lot of opportunities. Not only for the 21st century post-pandemic na, na situation where we are right now, no? even for our performers. I mean, well, kami nga sa conservatory, pag December, di na kami nagkikita. Lahat nagpe-perform. <laughs> Ganyan katindi sa conservatory. No? And we just accept it as... Ano yan? That's very factual na talagang maraming opportunities. Siguro hindi siya ganun katindi, just like in the other careers na mataas ang sweldo, very uh, paakit ka ng corporate ladder, uh, wala kasi tayong corporate ladder talaga sa music industry. no? But of course, there is that ladder of progress and ladder of excellence which you can go up to. Siguro sabihin niyo yung mga audience namin, napaka-vague naman yung sinasabi ni Sir Ton. Ni Sir Ton Ton. Actually, hindi. We have a lot of students who even at the point where they're, in, or, uh, they're only in third year, nag-work na po sila. And we don't stop them because that is an opportunity and we're very happy for them because we are able to give them an opportunity. Just when people outside would say, ano gagawin ko? eh marami pong pwedeng gawin sa music. At ang maganda po dyan, ginagawa po ninyo ang isang bagay na mahal ninyo. And that really helps one person go up in his career ladder because the passion is there. Andan yung competence mo, andan yung passion mo, andan yung compassion mo, andan yung commitment mo not only for yourself, but mahal mo kasi yung craft mo. So, exactly. aakit at aakit ka. May career po, may career po. I mean, I would say na 
I would say na though we still have to make a formal study on the profile of our graduates from the responses of our graduates we're very very happy na kung nasa music kung graduates sila ng music theater they're in local in, in the local theater scene or some are even in the international scene kung nasa performance sila magagaling po ang mga performers namin natin dito sa UST ang dami pong nagpo-pursue ng studies abroad and they are accepted. We're very proud of that, that they really are accepted and they're given scholarships. Sa mga new programs like music technology, they are employed right after graduation. And since, di ba, it's a wide world already, and dito na naman tayo sa internet age, they now get clients from abroad. So they are earning Earning so much na sabi ko, sana yun na lang trabaho ko. <laughs> so, yun, parang maganda din yung opportunity mo. Ah. And then mag-smile na lang sila sa akin. And then they would also share naman their experiences na, ay din, para po mag-improve tayo, ganito pa ang gawin natin. Yun nga yung maganda dun eh. We also get our feedback from our graduates. Ayun, opportunities. Marami po, huwag kayong mag, ano, kayo mag-alala kung gusto niyo mag-music. Ang audition po namin ay sa May 6, sa Sabado, 9 to 12 a.m. And then from 1 to 4, 5th floor, Albertus Manius Building, UST Espanya, Manila. See you there! <laughs> Ang ganda ng sinabi ni Dean. Ang ganda po ng sinabi niyo. Mm, Di ba? Thank you. Thank you. Thank for thank you for that uh uh for that Dean and for my I have a I have a question also Dean. How about the emergence of music technology as a career for musicians? Hmm. Nako. Um. Lahat po tayo nung 2020 na shock tayo sa pagpasok ng COVID and uh it was uh. It was, ako personally, I didn't know what to do. I was sitting alone in my home na ganyan, waiting for, buti na lang tayo, may, may blackboard tayo dito sa UST. Exactly. Hindi na po ito lang ating, ano, hindi na po ito lang ating delivery of, ano, of education. And, uh, well, we're very proud of that kasi sa ibang schools tumigil talaga sila. Tayo tuloy-tuloy, tuloy-tuloy because of our learning management system because of our LMS. No? So it was also a time for me to reflect. Kasi napansin ko, nung ko lang napansin na I was so busy with administrative work, wala na pala akong creative work. Eh basically, I do film scores, I do arrangements using digital audio workstation, and uh, arrangements, compositions, I come up with backing up tracks, I come up with media music, ganyan, ganyan. And that was the only time that I realized, oo nga, no? eh, ang dali-dali namang mag-deliver ng, ng deliverables. Papadala mo lang sa drive. May ipapasa mo na sa kliyente mo. So, sabihin na natin, it was a blessing. In a way, kasi, na-develop talaga ang music technology. Hindi kasi tayo nag-meet face-to-face and so we had to find a way by which we can express ourselves through music through another means. Hindi lang siya puro live, no? And that was the time na talagang I would say na music technology or technology did help all of us. Even for performers, even for the Filipino baritone, ang layo-layo niya. <laughs> Pero, oh, wait lang, parang kilala ko yung Filipino baritone na yun, ah. Ay, si Sip, si Sir Sip pala yun, okay, okay. So, well, it was a very good way of promoting oneself. And uh, that's how things are right now, di ba? So, music technology naman per se, yung audio production, recording, MIDI uh, implementation of, uh, of uh, projects, and dito na rin naman yan sa atin. I mean, we started offering music technology in 2010. 2010. Mm. Uh, actually, ako, Ma'am Tea, personally, I started music 
I started using music technology in the 90s pa. Kasi di ba, when I was working in the industry, yan ang gamit ko talaga. So parang when din suni ko na yan. Yeah, 2010, when we were, when I was uh, encouraged to start with a program, sinimula na natin, we started out with two, with two students. Now we're the biggest department in the conservatory. Uh, wow. Dahil, oo, talaga nag-zoom up yan during the pandemic. Because everybody was into it. I mean, even our senior high school graduates, they would know a bit about this or that. And, uh, and uh, yung interest ng mga bata andon. And uh, I think that was very, very important that they already had a background of what we were going to do. Pumapasok sila sa conservatory to enhance and to know more about technology and how technology can be implemented in music uh, so that it would be easier for us to express ourselves. Hindi nga siya live, pero andun pa rin yun, andun pa rin yun. I mean, uh, computers can help us, but of course, nasa material pa rin yun eh. So kung magaling yung kumakanta, kahit through computer lang yan, magaling pa rin yung kumakanta. Exactly. Kasi kung yung kumakanta hindi magaling, kahit dumaan sa computer, hindi pa magaling kumanta. Di ba pa? <laughs> ano lang yan? Conduit lang ang music technology. Conduit lang ang music technology. Eh syempre tayo sa UST, sanay na sanay tayo dito. Magagaling okay. tayong lahat, di ba? So, wala <laughs> tayong problema. And, and with the implementation of technology, ang dami-daming opportunities. Am I going to speak na ba specifically of the opportunities? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. yes, sir. For music technology. Ayun na nga. Kaya nga dito sa atin, sa UST, we focus on creativity rather than technology. Medyo, ano, no? Medyo paradoxical, pero ganun talaga yun eh. Uh, kasi in the local setting, as I have experienced, if you know computer music, that's very good. But you should also be a composer. You should also be an arranger. You should know everything. Ganun talaga eh. That's how, that's the need, that is the need of the industry. So that, that was the, ano, that was our guiding principle na we train our music technologies that way na. Creativity muna. Kaya nga kahit sila nagsasight singing and dictation, nagfe-theory, nahihirapan at lahat. Sir, bakit namin kailangan to? Aba, of course, we have to develop your musicianship. What we're offering for music technology is a Bachelor of Music in music tech, not a Bachelor of Arts. There's a big difference between the two. Pag Bachelor of Music ka, talagang music ang concentration mo. Yun. So, pag graduate nila, yun na nga. Recently, at saka di, ano rin yan eh, uh, something peculiar, no? By batch. Hindi naman namin pinaplano ito. Pero nagkakaroon kami ng batch na ang daming songwriters, may batch na ang daming uh, session musicians who are into recording, ang dami ring mga sound engineers. Nagkumpul-kumpulan sila eh. So, anong pinapasukan nila? Some end up as music producers. Uh, yes, they're working in the industry. Uh, sorry, hindi ko lang mabanggit kasi I never inform them before and kung, kung na be discussing this matter. Okay lang po, sir. Tapos, uh, may mga pumapasok sa podcast companies and through the podcast companies, nagkakaroon sila ng international links. Yun yung sinasabi kong, wow, laki na kinikita nila talaga. And uh, you cannot imagine na, okay, okay, kahit kami sa faculty ng music technology, we're very happily surprised that our students are given these opportunities. And of course, arrangements, uh, private clients, commissions, ang dami po, ang dami po. And uh, especially nung pandemic, lahat tayo naka-online concert. Kahit po ako, hindi po ako magkaugagad kasi ako mismo nag edit na rin. Minsan hindi kami umakabot na. O sige, ako na mag edit niyan. Ako na mag edit niyan. Ako na. Time consuming. Tulong-tulong po. Opo, time consuming pero nakaka-enjoy din po eh. Nakaka-enjoy. Like what you said a while ago, din, di ba, na namiss niyo siya. Dahil you were too busy with the admin, administrative yes, work. So, yun na nga, na-realize niyo na, ay, sarap pala. Sige, ako na lang gagawa. <laughs> di ba? Tama so, po yan. Tama po yan. And uh, even before, 90s, meron na po akong studio sa bahay 
nawala po yung studio ko because nga of my admin work. And it was during the pandemic na binalik ko siya isa-isa. Mm. So, right now, I am a practicing composer, arranger, musician, and at the same time, an admin dito sa Conservatory of Music. And uh, it it's really fulfilling doing both at the same time. Mahira po minsan. Minsan nagkukulong na lang ako dun sa kwarto ko sa Albertus para makapag-compose, ganyan-ganyan. But nagagawa naman po and masaya. Masaya ang buhay musiko. <laughs> Dean, uh, we have a question from our viewer. Ay, question from Ma'am Erica Bolaños. Hi, Dean Tonton. What words of encouragement can you give the younger generation who would like to become artists and musicians but are discouraged because it's not as conventional as other professions? Hi, uh, Dr. Erica. Dr. Erica is the principal of senior high school. Ah. Uh, very good friend. And uh, yes, uh, Dr. Erica and I would usually talk about this because proudly our senior high school has the, the music and arts and design strand, MAD, ang tawag namin dyan. One of the very, very few schools in the country na nag offer ng music strand. And uh, constantly, we would talk to improve on how we can also uh, invite more students to enter the music uh, strand. No? Uh, ayun lang po talaga ang nagiging problema because it is not conventional uh, i think we need to encourage the student na it is worth the it's not even a gamble no it is worth trying kasi di, di po ba ma'am erica ako kasi ito lang po ang prinsipyo ko sa buhay eh kung mahal ko po yung ginagawa ko and i put my life my passion into it you cannot fail. You cannot fail. True. <laughs> Totoo po yan. I mean, it's not, we're not conventional people. But we're happy people. We're contented people. Ang hira pong i-explain. <laughs> Actually, ang hira pong i-explain. Kasi yun nga po, hindi kami masyadong naiintindihan. But we, Dr. Erica, we, I am very, very thankful to the senior high school kasi ang dami-dami po namin applicants from senior high school and for also for the for the knowledge of everybody i mean especially our the music community our students our fa- faculty marami po tayong ano applicants from UST senior high and we're very very happy with that i i think the i mean if there is wa more than the student po i think dapat mas ma-convince natin ng parents Di po, di po ba? Kasi ang dami ko pong na-encounter na mga bata, even from other colleges, ha, na talagang they're into music, na nakakausap ko sila because they're, they're into it and they're very, very talented. Ba't hindi ka nag-music? Eh, sir, ayaw po ng parents ko. Wala na akong magawa doon. Di ba po ba? Kasi syempre, yun na nga, katulad nung sinasabi ko po kanina, ah, uh, Kung uso ngayon itong course na to nandito nagpupuntahan lahat, dyan nagpupuntahan lahat. Eh hindi po kami nauso sa music. Kaya talagang only the, the daring would dare go into take the risk. a conservatory of music and take the risk. Pero hindi po siya risk actually. Masaya po sa conservatory. Matututo ka na, mahal mo na ginagawa mo at may career ka pagkatapos. Discarte lang po talaga. Discarte. It's something also that we cannot uh, say sa magulang eh. Discarte po. Parang napakababaw naman po nung sinasabi ninyo. Eh, siguro po, pero nabuhay po kami ng ganito. And uh, si Sir Sip, ayan, nasa Europa na. I mean, he's concertizing everywhere. Ma'am Thea is everywhere in the country. Everywhere. Invited yan. I mean, Totoo rin naman na minsan nag-iisip din kami. So what will happen tomorrow? What will happen next week? What will happen next month? Pero buhay na po ang music industry sa Pilipinas. Eh. That's also one thing that you should understand. Comparing the music industry this 
decade to the previous decade nung nag nagkaka-graduate ko pa, ko pa lang po ang laki-laki na po ng improvement ng Philippine music industry that I think in a few years time we will be able to professionalize ourselves. Ganun na po ang direksyon ng music industry no so and uh, it's here to stay. We survived the pandemic. Now we're all back and I think uh, we will remain unconventional but we can find success in whatever things we do that is related to music but it's unconventional but it's very exciting po no? it is Mas very exciting exciting kasi one thing with us diba we cannot rely on what we have learned tayo nga ang constant learner sir tayo nga ang endless learner sir kasi hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, ay sikat ako kasi nag-concert na ako sa CCP. Yung composition ko, tinugtog na sa PICC. No, hanggang dun lang yun sa araw na yun. You, we do not know if next day meron na palang mas magaling na composer sa akin. Laos na ako. Alam mo yun, yung parang ganun, ganun ba yun? Hindi. So I have to keep up with myself. Hindi yeah. pwedeng what I have learned today, tomorrow, one step higher, one step higher, one step higher. We only become better and better and better and better. And maybe that makes us unconventional. But uh, that makes us also... Uh, ang tawag doon? Yung fulfilled ka na. Yung fulfilled ka na. I mean, I'm 59 this June. Tanda ko na. No? Uh, Sir! But even at this point, parang, I mean, fulfilled na rin ako. Maraming na rin ako nagawa. So, dear parents, give chance to your children. Exactly. Pero so, kung perfect. pwedeng mangyari sa mga anak ninyo kapag nag-music sila. Hindi po ako uh, nag, ano, nagmamakaawa para mag-enroll po kayo sa amin. Hindi po ganun. <laughs> ano pong gusto ng mga anak natin, sundin po natin. And uh, for sure, kung mahal po nila ginagawa nila, kung mahal po nila music ka, they will succeed. I agree. Okay. And, I agree. And sir, di ba, iba yung sense of fulfillment pag nasa music industry. Hindi mm -hmm. siya, walang katumbas na monetary value. Totoo yan. Ay, nako, kami nga, composer, mas mababaw kami. After playing our composition, pag malakas ang palakpak, oh my God, pwede na kung hindi kumain ng tatlong araw. Alam mo yun? <laughs> Magkakapin na lang ako, titingin na lang ako sa lawit. Ang saya-saya ko na. Ganyan, ganyan. Wala, wala lang. I mean, Mababaw po ang kaligayahan namin pero malalim din pero taong tao po. Taong tao. <laughs> Yung Kahit mas guro din sa lahat, hindi lang po sa inyo at sa composer but to, to us also, kami mm -hmm. ni Steve like ako. Kumakas yes. kami. Once magpakahirap kami mag-aral, mag-practice pa. Yung, yung mga tao na, na nagkustuhan yung performance mo, yung kumal kumalakpak sila or with all smiles, talaga na-appreciate natin lahat yun. Yes. And kahit anong hirap pa yan, you, uh, you will always find it fulfilling to perform, okay. to compose, you know. So ang sarap po, naging musician. So like yung sinabi po ni Dean Karina na, dear, uh, dear parents, pag gusto po ng anak niyo, <laughs> suportahan niyo po. Kasi alam po namin, alam na alam po namin pag gusto ng anak niyo ang music, mm -hmm. magsasaksid siya at alam niyo ipapakita sa inyo mm -hmm. na uh, magiging successful siya someday. So yun po, maganda yun po yung sinabi ni Dina, suportahan po natin ang ating mga anak. <laughs> Opo, and following, following up lang po doon, sa amin po kasi, as per ano experience, minsan po may transfer kami third year na coming from another college. Good grades. Oh, bakit ka lilipat sa music? Eh sir, ito naman po talaga ang gusto ko. Ah, Nabigitan lang po ako. Kasi gusto nang magkulang ko. Ayun po. And uh, they end up graduating and uh, fulfilled naman po. Okay. Yun po. Um, Dean, for the benefit of our viewers, uh, aside from music technology, ano pa po yung mga... mga how many programs po ba ang ino-offer ng ating Conservatory of Music? Uh, we have the biggest number of offerings, I guess, in all of the music schools. We have 24 running programs covering wow. all the instruments, voice, all the instruments, plus voice, music theater, music technology, jazz, 
music education, musicology. Sana wala ko nakalimutan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lahat ng instruments and voice and guitar, underperformance yeah. po yan. Pero yun, even yung underperformance na yun, separated po yan, depende sa specialization. And um, we're going beyond that actually. Uh, but of course, I cannot also give you details about it. But we are cooking up programs also. Mm-hmm. Which we will be pioneering in the future. Oh. Yung po. <laughs> yung po. And, I, and USC Conservatory of Music po is one of the centers of excellence uh, in music in the Philippines. Yeah. Ano po yung mga suggestions nyo on an interdisciplinary approach to possible new programs that can be offered by music schools? Okay, that's what I that was my last statement na sabi ko nga uh, actually na ongoing name planning. Ongoing name planning, okay. we're now looking for resources, we're now looking for um possible sponsors and the uh, patrons who will uh provide scholarships and funding for the future offerings that we have and um That's also one reason was why I was in the inauguration of UST Santa Rosa Extension Campus. Oh, wow. <laughs> Meron po tayong maliit na lugar doon. Uh, this would entail research and the development of the program. Hindi ko po pwede sabihin. <laughs> muna. Secret po muna. Secret po muna. Basta, basta, this is, well, one thing that I can really say is, uh, Uh, definitely we're not sitting on our laurels. I mean, we are the best performing school. I mean, yan ang history ng Conservatory of Music. And uh, hindi tayo magre-rely lang dyan. We will go with the flow of how programs are developed now. We will be coordinating with other colleges. Like, hoping that this would push through. No? Yun na nga, ito na nga yung hinahanapan namin ng funding. like the Faculty of Medicine, College of Rehabilitation Science, College of Science, uh, Faculty of Engineering. Ayan na, ang dami ko ng ano, ang dami ko ng clue. Hindi na ako magsasalita. <laughs> <laughs> Sige po. Sir, a follow-up question po. As a musician and the Dean of the USC Conservatory of Music, what can you advise Uh, to our youth and those who are interested in pursuing a career in music? Well, if you really love music, if you really love to take the course, then proceed. Don't give it a second thought kung talagang nasa puso mo na pag musiko. And uh, that will be your driving force it. That will be the big factor that will make you a competent, a committed musician with compassion talaga. So that as we deal with our fellow musicians outside, andun yun. Parang sinasabi ko dito kayo mag-enroll sa UST Conservatory of Music. But of course, I mean, we're, if we're talking of core values, sino ba ang merong competence, commitment, at compassion. Oh, diba? you... Tayo yun. Tayo yun. Tayo yun. So, advice ko, seize the day, go for it, you'll make it. Well said, sir. Follow-up question lang po, uh, Dean. Opo. How can the Tomasian quality of education be an edge in pursuing a musical career path? Ano po yung certain Tomasian value na? Yun po. Yun po yung ano, sinabi ko kanina, yung competence, commitment, compassion. Like, tayo naman, we are well-trained, di ba? We're well-trained as musicians. So paglabas natin, we're, we are well-armed with the ability, with the technical know-how, with the passion, with the musicality, with all these things. And we have that commitment. Nagkocommit tayo sa trabaho natin na gagawin natin 
hindi kami nandito dahil si sweldo kami. Andito kami kasi mahal namin yung ginagawa namin. Yun yung commitment natin eh. And we have that compassion also. Not only towards our work, but our compassion towards the people who are around us. We commit ourselves not only to the to the people, not only to the work, but to our craft. We have our compassion to our craft and to the world around us na parang uh, can I say, yes, I know I can say na holistic ang training natin sa as musicians. So, and of course, being artists, human na human ka, di ba? Yun yun eh, yun yun eh. So, one plus one equals two. So, saan ka pa, di ba? You want music? Go music. You want to go into music? We're here at the UST Conservatory of Music. Our audition is on May 6, 1912, <laughs> at 1 to 4 p.m. I'll be there, and I hope to see all of you, and we will accommodate you as much as we can. Uh, we only have one audition date. Uh, I think we have another one on May 20. Uh, another one on May 20. And of course, we still accept walk-ins after that. Oh, kasi, di ba, syempre, minsan, we discover, oh, may magaling pala na, na, ano, na musician dito coming from the Visayas. Okay, we, we can accommodate. Coming from Mindanao, we can accommodate. Don't worry. We okay. will accommodate. So, na-announce na ni Dean yung ating mga <laughs> audience <laughs> Yes. So, please uh, visit the USA Conservatory Music. And uh, we will accommodate, the office will accommodate you all para sa inyong mga queries. Sa mga audition ninyo, yes. Opo. Yes. Yeah. Meron pa po kayong ibang announcements? Yeah. Or, uh, announcements, that is our most immediate concern as of today. And uh, of course, we will be having our concert season next academic year. Now that we're back, now that we're back. Uh, what I mean by that is we're now in person again. So expect announcements to come out by June or July regarding the concert season. Uh, uh, we're not only on music technology. Of course, classical music heritage is still there. We recently did Mozart's Requiem. Oh, and wow. we were afraid na baka walang manood. Punong-puno yung simbahan. And we were all very, very happy about it. Buhay na buhay po ang musika dito sa ating sa Pilipinas. So, touch. We will be announcing activities this coming academic year. Thank you so much for Dean. Um, on behalf of the USC Conservatory Music Alumni Association Incorporated through its president, Antonio Chuaso Jr., we would like to thank Dean Antonio Paterno Africa, our guest for sharing with us his perspective about the 21st century careers for music professionals. We also would like to thank the USC AAI academics, especially Team Bridges, for giving us the opportunity to sponsor this episode of Bridges. Thank you also to our alumni sponsor, Engineer Armand Cacaccio from California, for sponsoring our show for today. Again, friends, please do not forget to like and share our show and subscribe <laughs> to our USC Sumashan Alumni Community YouTube channel. This is Thea Perez, one of your hosts for today, or rather today's session. Thank you for spending time with us here at Bridges. We build bridges of people, bridges of knowledge, and new learning. Before we end our show, we have a few announcements here. Everyone is invited on May 6 to the UST Alumni Association Incorporated and Office of Alumni Relations to the Flores de Mayo at 2 p.m. for the recitation of the Holy Rosary, followed by the celebration of the Holy Mass at 3 p.m. at the Santissimo Rosario Paris Church and to the Santa Cruz in 2023 at the USC grounds at 4.30 p.m. Also, we also have the USC homecoming for distinguished Tomasian alumni and the launching of the coffee table book entitled Tomasian Icons, Bridges of Faith, Hope, and Love at the BG Pop Lobby or the Tomasian Alumni Center 
at 6 p.m. This is Sip de Guzman, thanking all of you for watching. Here at Bridges, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. Enjoy the rest of the evening. God bless you all. Thank you. Mabuhay. And mabuhay.